Hello, fellow airmen. I would like to thank everyone that helped any scouting program this year in the midst of the pandemic. Your continued support of the scouting movement is vital to our future. Specifically, I would like to thank all the youth members of the LEC for their passion and excitement for the lives this year, as well as the adult advisors who do such an amazing job in guiding these youth for success. I would like to thank Lodge Advisor Dennis Abernathy and Staff Advisor John Bickle for their role in ensuring this organization is youth run from top to bottom. Of all the challenges the LEC is expecting to face this year, such as improving membership and event participation, the unexpected challenge of a global pandemic proved to be the most difficult to our program. The Lodge has been forced us to adapt, and I am proud to say we have been able to find success this year. The Lodge quickly adapted unit elections to be entirely virtual, since units haven't been able to meet in person held two virtual fellowship weekends to keep our members engaged, held the elections for our 2021 officers completely virtually, were able to hold inductions for our deal, brotherhood, and individual honor safely, held a fantastic Lodge Leadership Development Seminar, and tonight we are continuing the oldest tradition in the Order of the Arrow, virtually. The Lodge's History Committee debuted a podcast focused on the history of our council, Lodge, and camps. And next year, the Lodge will begin to work on improving the ceremonial grounds at heart. Lastly, as a thank you to all that continue to support the Lodge through the pandemic, any member that has paid their 2020 dues will receive a discount on their 2021 dues. Personally, I'd like to extend my gratitude towards everyone that has made my experience in the Order of the Arrow as incredible as it has been these last seven years. Through this program, I've been able to grow as a leader and a person as well as meet many people that will be my brothers for life. As my time as a youth in this lodge comes to an end, I challenge every young airman watching this to take a chance on this lodge. It is well worth it. I'm living proof. Please enjoy the rest of this evening and congratulations to all those brothers being recognized tonight. Luke, as 2020 Lodge Chief, I know when you started you thought it was going to be a very smooth ride, but it got bumpy and mm -hmm. you did an excellent job. All right, thank you, Dennis. Pat, as 2020's Inami Lodge first vice chief, I appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you. Liam, as 2020's Inami Lodge second vice chief, it has been a fun year. I thought it was a little different because we're behind a mask, but thank you for everything you've done. You did one hell of a job. Thank you, Dad. Riley, as our 2020 Secretary for Anami Lodge, I want to thank you for all you've done for this past year, and congratulations, and I'm going to do it again next year. Oh, and as our 2020 Treasurer for our Lodge, Thank you for everything you've done. It was my honor. I appreciate it. Sadly, there are some United Brothers who could not join us this year. Let us have a moment of silence for those airmen who have passed on this year. As the moons come and go, keep their memories with us, and may we be for others as they were for us. Good evening, Unami Lodge. My name is Derek Porter, and this past year I've had the privilege of serving as the 2020 Section Chief of Section NE5, and this upcoming year I have the privilege of serving as the 2021 National Chief of the Order of the Arrow. I am honored to be speaking to all of you tonight at Unami's virtual celebration event, and I want to congratulate all of Unami Lodge for their hard work during a difficult year. Inducting 75 new members, Holding two induction events, a brotherhood blitz, and a vigil induction is truly a remarkable accomplishment, all being done during a pandemic. Thank you to each and every one of you for continuing your service to our order, even in such difficult times. 
Section N E five is excited to be hosting our Backcountry Brotherhood Conclave this year and hope that all of you plan to join us on, at Goose Pond Scout Reservation from June 21st to 23rd to be part of the fun. Thank you to everyone, once again, both youth and adult, who worked tirelessly to make this year a success. Congratulations to everyone that will be receiving awards tonight, and good luck on the year ahead. Well, it actually happened. The day I thought would never come actually came, and it came on March 13th, 2020. There became a scenario that was not covered in any manual or any guidebook of the Order of the Arrow or the Boy Scouts of America. Just as a quick aside, if you find yourself in quarantine boredom with nothing else to do, you've binge watched all your favorite shows and movies and on Netflix and all those other streaming services, you should really go to the National Order of the Arrow website, click on resources and publications, and look at all of the manuals and guidebooks that are published. They literally cover every possible scenario, except for one. And that's the one that happened on March 13, 2020. That's when we had a government-mandated shutdown and quarantine due to a worldwide pandemic. And that's what our leaders were faced with this year. And I cannot tell you how proud I am of those young men who stepped up. They were granted an opportunity because of this dumpster fire that is 2020, courtesy of the COVID-19 virus, to boldly go where no man has ever gone before. Just a quick plug there for all of you Trekkies. Um, and I could not be more proud of those young men, the job that they did. The way that this lodge leadership kept the lodge and the chapter leadership kept the chapters moving forward in the face of a pandemic, the likes of which we have never seen before and hopefully will never see again. They found ways to keep the program happening, including keeping the brothers together through virtual fellowship events, um, by, by holding online officer elections. And let me tell you, for those of you who don't know, Luke and Michael had to push really, really hard because I was throwing up roadblock after roadblock. I was not a fan initially of that plan. And they worked really, really hard to make that a reality. But they found a way, and it worked, and it worked well. They even found a way to conduct a virtual Lodge Leadership Development Day to be able to continue with the development of our leaders of our Lodge for the future. Again, I could not be more proud of the work that these, these young men did. I'm so grateful to every member of Unami Lodge 1 because just as the quarantine began to open up and free up and loosen up just a little bit, we found a way to give thousands of hours of service back to scouting by helping at service days at the camp, try to get the camp ready for activities, by serving as camp masters and event staff for those limited activities that we were able to perform. None of that could have happened without Unami Lodge 1. Thank you, all of you, so very much for your service. I want to also mention how proud and impressed I am at the resiliency of the Lodge. Even in face of all of the things we talked about a minute ago, the pandemic, the quarantine, the shutdowns, uh, no manuals, no guidelines, Lodge leadership, youth and adult, were able to work together to find a way to induct new members into the Lodge in a safe and COVID compliant manner, to help our brothers uh, in, in the lodge come together and seal their bonds of brotherhood, and to also hold in person meaningful vigil honors. I am so incredibly impressed at how all of that was able to happen within the constraints of the COVID-19 guidelines. Again, thank you to all of you for all the work that you did to make that happen. And, and, and just kudos to all of you. And so in closing, I just want to thank again each and every one of you for all that you do for scouting, whether it's through the Order of the Arrow or through your home units. Thank you so much for being a part of our scouting family. And thank you so much for being a part of Unami Lodge One. Thank you for all that you do in support of scouting. And I hope you and your family stay safe.
The Green Turtle Award was established by the Lodge Executive Committee in 2016. Created in the spirit of the National Red Arrow Award, the purpose of the Green Turtle Award is to recognize those who are not members of the Order of the Arrow, yet still contribute to the mission of the Order of the Arrow and Unami Lodge One in supporting scouting and the scout camps throughout the Cradle of Liberty Council. Support can come in the form of monetary donations, manpower, material donations, or other significant contributions that impact scouting on the local level. The award may be presented to individuals as well as businesses and organizations for their service. Unfortunately, neither of our 2020 recipients were able to join us for the filming this year. Nevertheless, we want to recognize Roger Dacey. Roger is a friendly and faithful neighbor to Resca Falls Scout Reservation. Each week during the spring, summer, and fall, and sometimes multiple times during a week, Roger can be found at Resca Falls on the trusty gravely riding mower cutting each and every patch of grass imaginable. Always dependable, Roger is there whenever camp needs him. Gillespie Electric Over the years, Gillespie Electric has provided much support and dedication to camp improvement projects at both Musser and Resca Falls. Through the donation of innumerable amounts of electrical supplies, major electrical upgrades have been able to happen at both camps. Whenever a need arises, like having a bucket truck in camp to complete a project, Gillespie Electric is always ready to lend a hand. Congratulations to both Roger. A lodge is nothing without its members. If any organization is going to grow and last, it needs to induct new members. Even in the midst of a global pandemic, Unami still had the opportunity to hold two induction weekends where we were able to induct 75 new ordeal members. These individuals included the first female youth members from Scouts BSA troops which is truly a glimmer of hope in the year that has been 2020. Congratulations to all of our new Ordeal members, and welcome to Unami Lodge. Alangama is Lenny Lenape word that is interpreted as friend. Throughout the course of the Ordeal induction, candidates are guided through the challenges of Ordeal by Alangamats. Members of the Lodge have already completed the Ordeal and look to serve others as they embark on their own membership journey. The work of our Alangamats is entirely necessary to ensure the induction process is successful. Tonight we recognize those airmen who served as an Alangamat at both of our induction weekends in 2020. Hi, my name is Michaela. I did my ordeal back in May of 2019 and I really enjoyed it. It was an amazing experience. My brother was in the Order of the Arrow. He was kind of a sash and dash, so I wanted to not do that. And I wanted to stay involved and be in the lodge as best as I could. Um, so my ordeal experience was very representative of that. When it comes to next year, um, because of the pandemic, I still haven't gotten my brotherhood. So that is like right on up there in the top of stuff that I wanna do in 2021. And I just wanna have nice, good fellowship with the other members of the lodge. So that's all. Tom Richards was an Eagle Scout and a Vigil Honor member of Unami Lodge One, who was a caring and friendly individual to all whom he encountered. As a new airman, he was the catalyst for starting the lodge's OA Troop Representative Program and served in other capacities, including the camp promotions and needed election chair and as the Vice Chief of Administration. In 2009, he was elected as the Section NE5B Section Chief and served until 2010. Tom's style of leadership, a cheerful smile and friendly attitude, instilled in others a desire to work to build stronger relationships and to provide stronger service to others. A true showman, Tom's sense of humor, bright smile and laughter were a constant reminder of the importance of brotherhood in our own lives and in the Order of the Arrow. For those who knew him best in the Order of the Arrow, Tom will always be known as the one and only Super Chief. Sadly, Tom passed away suddenly in August 2010 at the age of 19. To remember his selfless service to the Order and to his fellows, the Lodge Executive Committee established the Thomas J. Richards Outstanding Service Award. This award is used to recognize those youth airmen who serve their lodge to an outstanding degree, unselfish service, and an exemplary performance of one's role in the lodge are the main factors considered by the selection committee. 
Past recipients of the Richards Outstanding Service Award are now displayed on the screen. Tonight's recipients are Will Beardsley. Will's zeal in serving others manifests itself through his work as both the Minquist Chapter Chief and as part of the Unit Elections Committee. No detail or idea is too small for Brother Beardsley, as he led the Lodge through a transition to virtual elections this past year. Will has also served as an Alangamat, welcoming our newest members into the Order of the Arrow. Anthony Glass. Anthony's friendly disposition and dedication to others are the hallmark of his character. Whether it be through his faithful service as Lodge Treasurer, Events Chair, NOAC Chair, or Membership Chair, Brother Glass consistently looks to help out a friend in need. A Vigil Honor member of the Lodge, Anthony has also served as a ceremonialist and as OA Honor Master at Resica Falls. Matt Luke. You've probably seen Matt on the other side of the camera at a Lodge event over the last few years, but his service to you naming goes well beyond his photography. Matt Luke has served as Constellation Chapter Chief and as the Communications Chair with Fervor. Matt has a keen eye for design and a love of technology that continue to be a great asset to the Lodge's ever-growing methods of connecting with its members. Congratulations to everyone who has received an award this evening. Dave Fortunato was an Eagle Scout and longtime scouter who served as a Cub Master, Assistant Scout Master, and Committee Member, as well as a professional scouter in both Valley Forge and Philadelphia Councils. He worked several summers at Rescue Falls and spent countless weekends there as a Camp Master, a Chapter Advisor, a Deputy Lodge Advisor, and a Weekend Cook. Dave was fittingly chosen to serve as a Lodge Advisor for Delmont Lodge 43 in 1995. As Unami and Delmont merged in 1996, Dave has chosen to serve as the first advisor of the new lodge. Much of the success of the transition and merger can be attributed to the sage advice and delicate guidance he provided to the youth leaders in both lodges. As someone who believed firmly in living by the scout oath and law and who abided by the obligation in his daily life, Dave saw great promise in the new Unami Lodge One. Sadly, they passed away just as the merger became official. To remember his selfless service to the order, camps, and his fellows, the Lodge Executive Committee established the Dave Fortunato Outstanding Service Award. This award is used to recognize those adult airmen who served their lodge to an outstanding degree, unselfish service, and an exemplary performance of one's role in the lodge or main factors considered by the selection committee. Past recipients of the Fortunato Outstanding Service Award are now displayed on the screen. Tonight's recipient is Brett Montique. Brett's youth service in scouting as a camp staffer and OA brother helped fuel current passionate service to our lodge and scouting. Brother Montique works primarily with the lodge's visual honor committee, serving tirelessly as one of its advisors to ensure a meaningful experience for new and seasoned visual honor members. Brett's service spreads even further as an ordeal field advisor, unit leader, and member of the council's camping committee. Is that Luke Syak, the 2020 Lodge Chief? You're Santa Claus? Sure am. And did you complete your bonds of brotherhood this year after being six months as an ordeal member? I did, yeah. Well, look what I got for you, kiddo. Ooh. No way! Is that my brotherhood sash? Yeah. Thank you, Luke Syak. Now, quiet now. Go back and sleep, young man. Because I got to deliver some coal to sash and dashes. Thank you. Bye. As an ordeal member, your focus should be on providing leadership to your home unit. After six months as an ordeal member, you have the opportunity to take your next step in your membership journey and become a Brotherhood member. As a Brotherhood member, your focus should now shift to serving the Lodge, as well as providing leadership in your chapter or on the Lodge level. Congratulations to these 21 airmen who have sealed their bonds of Brotherhood in 2020. Unami Lodge has a strong history of providing service to our council and its camp and 2020 has been no exception. 
The support given to our rangers over the last couple of months by members of our lodge have been extraordinary. Whether it be camp improvement projects or projects focused on the safety of our campers, Unami brothers have exceeded all expectations. Thank you to those airmen who provided service to our camps this year. The purpose of the Charles J. Chuck Ben Shetler Spirit of Camp Leadership Award is to recognize those members of Cradle of Liberty camp staff who exemplify the best qualities that a camp staff member should possess. It is through the words and actions of these individuals that they are seen by their fellow staff members and are put in the position of recognition. Like Chuck, these individuals are always thinking about what is best for campers and always trying to improve camp through their selfless actions. Chuck spent many years on camp staff and served in a multitude of positions during this time, including aquatics director, harbor master, assistant camp director, camp director, and camp commissioner. He always set an example to the staff and tried to improve the camp in any little way that he could. It is in his memory and legacy that we recognize these brothers of the order and camp staff, which exemplify the same spirit of camp leadership. Whether well, it's promoting the proper uniform, adding a new idea to the program area, leading a song at meals, counseling a scout with a problem, helping a scout learn a new skill, or keeping the morale among the staff. These individuals being honored with the award are always there to take on such tasks and many more that warrant their aid, just as Chuck would have, have cheerfully done. Past recipients of the Spirit of Camp Leadership Award are now displayed on the screen. Tonight's recipients are William Ashley. Will has quietly worked at Musser Scout Reservation since 2014, starting out as a counselor in training and serving primarily in the STEM area of camp. As STEM director, he has invested much time and energy into making the program strong, while also making many behind the scene additions to the camp wide program. Whether it is Weebelow's Overnighter or the production of Cop Robin, Will is always committed to making memories for our council's youngest campers. Colin Millward. Colin's journey on camp staff at Resica Falls began as a counselor in training and has led to his thriving as archery director. With stops at the shop and Dan Beard along the way, positive interactions with campers are key to Colin as he looks to foster those lasting memories in his area. Through campfire skits and characters, and even during the off season as a camp master. Colin demonstrates full dedication to the camp program, whether it is in person or on a virtual setting. Megan Luke. Megan's enthusiasm for camp knows no bounds. From her earliest time as a member of the lake staff to her service as sports director, she distinguished herself as a gifted counselor. As a commissioner, she strived to provide expert customer service to all units in camp, particularly when welcoming Resica Falls' first all-female scouts, BSA troops, in 2019. Campfire program, campfires, and so many of the little things are second nature to Megan. Hi, my name is Michaela Donnelly and I was the 2020 events chair. This is your reminder to come to our weekends to sign up. Our first weekend spring service fun is at Muster Scout Reservation on April 16th through 18th. Spring Service 2 will be hosted at Resica Falls, happening May 14th through the 16th. And then lastly, our Fall Fellowship Weekend, which will be at Muster Scout Reservation on October 1st through 3rd. Hope to see you guys there. The vigil honor is the highest honor that the Order of the Arrow can bestow upon its members for service to the Lodge, Council, and Scouting. It dates to 1915, when our founder, Dr. E. Erner Goodman, became the first Vigil Honor member. Membership cannot be won by a person's conscious endeavors. Alertness to the needs of others is the mark of the Vigil Honor. It calls for an individual with an unusual awareness of the possibilities within each situation. The Vigil Honor is a high mark of distinction and recognition reserved for those airmen who, by reason of exceptional service, personal effort, and unselfish interests, 
have made distinguished contributions beyond the immediate responsibilities of their position of office to one or more of the following, the Lodge, the Order of the Arrow, the Scouting Community, and the Scout Camp. The following brothers kept their vigil at Resica Falls, Big Springs Camp in October 2020. Brother Luke Clancy. Brother Clancy has been a familiar face at service weekends and Roosevelt chapter meetings since his induction in the Lodge. Luke was elected to serve UNAMI-1 as its secretary in 2019 and has assisted in the planning of the powwow in the park, but his real interest has been the annual Lodge Leadership Development Event, which he has planned on two separate occasions as Leadership Development Chairperson. Brother Clancy's intention for UNAMI Lodge 1 remains positive, and his presence is always unmistakable. Brother Clancy's Indian name is interpreted as to be of intention. Brother Anthony Glass, there is one word that anyone who spends even a brief amount of time with Brother Glass quickly zeroes in on when describing him. Kind. Regardless of when or where Anthony sees you, he will always greet you with a smile, a hello, and an inquiry about you. He has brought this kindness to his roles in the Lodge, which has made him especially effective as Honors Master at Resica Falls, as Events Committee Chairperson, Lodge Treasurer, and Membership Committee Chairperson, where his generous spirit makes new members feel welcomed and involved from the moment they join our Lodge. Brother Glass's dedicated service and kind-hearted nature make him an ideal candidate for the vigil honor. Brother Glass's Indian name is interpreted as the kind-hearted. Brother Austin Grober. Brother Grober's passion for the customs and traditions of both the Order of the Arrow and the Lenny Lenape stands out amongst his fellow airmen. Austin has represented the Lodge in native dance and drumming competitions with skill and enthusiasm, ensuring accuracy of representation for the indigenous history he and others seek to present. As a long tenured ceremonies chairperson of UNAMI 1, Austin has efficiently organized our ceremonial teams on multiple Lodge weekends and for competition at section conclaves leading them to recognitions of excellence on several occasions. Brother Grober himself is a zealous ceremonialist, delivering his lines with exquisite precision to tell the tales of the order to our ever-growing brotherhood. Brother Grober's Indian name is interpreted as Teller of Tales. Brother Riley Metzler, a bright and cheerful disposition are the hallmarks of Brother Metzler's character and his service to Nanny Lodge 1. No stone was left unturned as Riley sought new ways to energize our membership through the planning and execution of exciting Lodge weekends as the Events Committee Chairperson, as well as part of several other Lodge operating committees. As Lodge Secretary, he has diligently noted the meetings of our Lodge during turbulent times helping to ensure that, despite the fact the Lodge Executive Committee now meets virtually, its meetings are no less effective. Whether in person or miles away, Brother Metzler scribes the record of our Lodge's triumphs, trials, and tribulations with great joy. Brother Metzler's Indian name is interpreted as Scribes with Joy. Brother Alexander Ziemba. Brother Ziemba's time as a member of the Resica Falls camp staff has brought him closer to our Lodge. As a leading member of Camp STEM staff, Alex has emerged as both a talented instructor of the most technologically oriented badges offered at camp and as the caretaker of the Richards Arena for all shows and campfires. This camp service has evolved into talented contributions to the Communications Committee of UNAMI Lodge 1 a realm which requires high quality output on an almost daily basis in support of almost every area of our lodge. Whether teaching chemistry merit badge or overseeing a lodge marketing campaign, Brother Ziemba's passion for scouting 
fuels a reaction in those whose lives he touches. Brother Ziemba's Indian name is interpreted as fuels the reaction. Brother Heather Filer. Brother Filer has a love of life that is matched by her love of scouting, and which she broadcasts to all whom she encounters. Much of Heather's energy in scouting has been expended working with the Council's National Youth Leadership Training Program, ensuring that young people are trained, and Wood Badge ensuring that they have trained leaders to guide them. Heather's also a regular volunteer at the Continental District Klondike Derby, where her ruddy face is always plastered with a smile, and she has served for several years as an advisor with the Lodge's Events Committee. Regardless of where she is found, Brother Filer's ardor and cheerful disposition help to knit us together into a more cohesive whole. Brother Filer's Indian name is interpreted as to knit us together. Brother Daniel Lyons. Brother Lyons has been a presence at Resica Falls for far longer than he has been a member of Unami Lodge 1. Inducted into the Order of the Arrow as a member of Sakuit Lodge 2, Dan then became a member of Ajapu Lodge 2 before joining Unami 1 in 2017. Immediately upon joining our lodge, Dan was appointed to chair the service committee, which he has led both as chairperson and as advisor ever since. Whether it is as the quartermaster director or shooting sports director, on a lodge service weekend, camp master weekend, or just a weekend in general, one is hard pressed to find a brother serving camp more willingly or fervently than Brother Lyons. Brother Lyons' Indian name is interpreted as willing camp servant. Brother Theodore McDonald. Brother McDonald has served scouting in the greater Philadelphia area for decades. From his time as a lodge officer of Delmont Lodge 43 and a member of the Big Springs Camp staff, to his tenure as a Cub Master and Scout Master, to his time on the Cradle of Liberty Council Executive Board, Ted has shown that his only goal in serving the scouting program is to ensure that young people have a transformatively positive experience. Currently, in his seventh year as Cradle Liberty Council's Camping and Properties Committee Chairperson, Ted has stewarded both our physical camps and our camping operations through one of the most difficult periods in our history. In all he has done, Brother McDonald has proven himself to be a pathfinder worthy of our emulation. Brother McDonald's Indian name is interpreted as Pathfinder. Brother Melissa Serkin. The traditions of Unami Lodge 1 run deep in Brother Serkin's family. Melissa is the third member in two generations to be called out for the vigil honor as a member of our lodge, but she has been a fixture at the lodge events and at Resca Falls far longer than she has been a member of the order. Melissa's service has taken various forms, including as a longtime camp staff member and as the Lodge's Camp Promotions Committee Advisor. In both her personal life as an art teacher and in her life within scouting, Brother Serkin helps young people to reach their full potential and in doing so, sculpts a better future for all. Brother Serkin's Indian name is interpreted as she who sculpts. Brother Christopher Smith, few members of Unami Lodge One provide the kind of dedicated service to virtually every area of the scouting program, as does Brother Smith. Chris has spent innumerable hours at troop campouts, district and council events, lodge weekends, unami hosted section conclaves, and summer camp, putting on innovative programs and coming up with creative and effective solutions to problems that may have others stumped. This dedication has translated to Chris's current service as the Continental District Commissioner and as advisor for the Lodge's membership committee, fervently giving his time and energy for the betterment of council and lodge. No matter the irksome task or weighty responsibility that is laid before him, Brother Smith stands ever ready to get the job done. Brother Smith's Indian name is interpreted as ever ready. 
The Founders Award was created in 1981 by the National Order of the Arrow Committee to honor and recognize those arrowmen who have given exceptional service to their lodge. The award is reserved for those arrowmen who demonstrate in their everyday life the spirit of achievement as described by the Order of the Arrow's founders, Eirner Goodman and Carol A. Edson. While the vigil honor is a high mark of distinction, the Founders Award is used to recognize those airmen, youth and adult, who have impacted the Lodge in a positive and lasting way. This is a rare and distinguished honor, and UNAMI is honored to present the Founders Award to three individuals this year. The past recipients of the Founders Award from UNAMI and Delmont Lodge are on the screen now. Brother Campbell is a dedicated airman who has served our Lodge since his induction in 2014. His first event as a general member was the Lodge Leadership Development Day. Aiden went in there knowing nothing and came out with two very important things, a better understanding of how the Lodge runs and his first position on the LEC, Troop Representative Chair. Aiden was the SPL of Troop 394 prior to this event, so it was a good place to start in the OA. During his time as Troop Rep Chair, Aiden was selected to attend next, a new century, as one of the Lodge's three youth delegates. For the next two years, Aiden was elected as the Vice Chief of Administration, overseeing committees such as Camp Promotions, Lodge Operations, Troop Representative, and Unit Support. Aiden would think about the Lodge day and night and would ask questions that a lot of youth weren't thinking about. The most important question being, how can we restructure the Lodge so it can run more smoothly? Aiden sat down with the committee and decided to spend the whole year rewriting the rules and procedures. This took countless meetings and hundreds of hours, but Aiden never once looked back. Following that, Aiden was elected to be Unami Lodge's 99th Lodge Chief. He also kept his vigil that night and was given the name Stargazer. Aiden's year as chief was a success for the Lodge. He focused on keeping our membership high and also coming up with new events to increase activation with new airmen, like the new members bash. After his year as chief, Aiden decided to stay involved and help me out as the Vigil Honor Co-Chair. Aiden is never afraid to voice his opinion during the vigil process because he wants to ensure that our brothers have an unforgettable experience. Aiden Campbell is a brother like no other. He is the person you always see at Lodge events laughing, just having a good time. He makes sure that new airmen never feel left out of any conversation, always using his silly catchphrase, dope, anytime someone runs something by him. I have known Aiden for the past 14 years, and I am very proud of the leader he has become. And I can't wait to see what else he brings to the Order of the Arrow and to this world. Tonight, we are recognizing Aiden Campbell with the Founders Award for his hard work and dedication to our order. The award is reserved for an arrowman who demonstrates the spirit of selfless service as advocated by our founders, Dr. E. Erner Goodman and Carol A. Edson. And there is no youth more worthy of this award than Aiden Campbell. Congratulations, buddy. As you may know, the Founders Award is a nationally recognized distinction for Aramen who have impacted our lodge in positive and lasting ways. This recipient absolutely personifies the spirit of selfless service and brotherhood advocated by our founders, Iona Goodman and Carol Edson. As a youth, this recipient completed his ordeal at our founding camp, Treasure Island. He then went on to seal his bond of brotherhood also at Treasure Island. He has been a perennial face and valued resource at Unami Lodge meetings and events. His presence at Lodge business meetings often renders sage advice and keen observations. He openly shares the knowledge he has acquired at the many positions he has held. With his non-assuming way and gentle demeanor, he strives to validate his point for the good of the Lodge. However, he has been known to dig deep into some competitive vein, leading very successful volleyball forays at several national conferences. He truly lives his vigil name, one who never gives up. As a health professional, he openly plies his skills as a healer and caretaker at all large events and is often at the forefront of our medical team. 
Leaders of our Creative of Liberty Council have come to depend on his medical leadership at events at any council activity. He is a loyal friend, he's a stout listener, and is sincerely concerned about the well-being of those inside his circle and around it, dispensing his compassion generously. This Founders Award is designed to honor an asset to our lodge and community. I am proud to present the 2020 Founders Award to Lee Faden. Congratulations, my brother. Today's mighty oak is just yesterday's sapling that held its ground. Tonight, we get to honor one particularly outspoken sapling who certainly held his ground as he has worked tirelessly to help our lodge grow. For three years, Brother Reese Wallace served diligently as Unami's ordeal chair. Welcoming new members into the lodge is an extremely important task and one that Reese handled with the utmost care and the friendliness of natures. Coinciding with his work as the ordeal chair was also service as the Continental Chapter Chief, where he looked to have this smaller piece of our lodge grow and be an asset to the district and council. In 2017, Unami was asked to host the Section NE5 Conclave the following year. Having just hosted a conclave in 2015, Holding two conclaves in such quick succession was something that many lodges don't have the opportunity to do. As one of UNAMI's most active youth at the time, Reese was chosen to serve as the conclave chair and coordinate our efforts as host lodge with the section. I had the pleasure of serving as Reese's advisor for the event, and while it was certainly a growing experience for both of us, I can honestly say, without Reese's tenacity and focus, the fire inside would not have been a success. Having just led a 400 plus person event filled with training, fellowship, and fun with Araman from over nine lodges in attendance, one would think that maybe Reese would want to take a little bit of a break. That was definitely not the case. Instead, Reese embarked on an entirely new journey, becoming the lodge's founding history chair, reinstituting a long forgotten committee of the lodge. In the two years since, Reese has built the History Committee into one of the strongest committees in the Lodge, with numerous members and contributors being ever vigilant in sharing the history of UNAMI 1, Delmont 43, our predecessor and current councils, and of course our camps, Treasure Island, Musser, and Resica Falls. From a strong social media presence, to a podcast with over a dozen episodes and live streamed events, Reese has shared his passion with countless airmen across the country. Since turning 21, Reese has transitioned into an advisory role with the History Committee. Reese's youth, his vision, and his passion have been intrinsically tied to the successes of those parts of the order that he has been involved with and of the Lodge as a whole. He has caught the higher vision and the true spirit of achievement the Founders Award seeks to recognize. Reese, you are undoubtedly a mighty oak in UNAMI and the Cradle of Liberty Council. Congratulations, my brother. Hey, Anthony. Yeah, I was just getting ready for the chapter meeting. I just put my uniform on and everything. A, a face mask? Why? A global pan a global pandemic, what are you talking about? Uh okay. Um Unami Lodge has face masks? Alright, I'll take a look. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Unami face mask out of the cart. Jeez, that was quick. It was like two seconds. Postman. Wait, Luke Syak, the 2020 launch chief. I didn't know you worked for the post office. Sure do. Now, it's been nice talking to you, but I gotta go deliver more packages for Unami Lodge 1. Gotta go! Thank you. Bye. Patrick, raise your right hand in the scout sign. And say your name after the word I and repeat after me. I, 
please state your name. I, Patrick Lynch. Do hereby promise. Do hereby promise. On my honor as a scout. On my honor as a scout. That I will faithfully fulfill. That I will faithfully fulfill. The duties entrusted to me. The duties entrusted to me. As chief of Unami Lodge 1. As chief of Unami Lodge 1. I will. I will, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, live up to the high ideals of our order, live up to the higher ideals of our order, promote our lodge program, promote our lodge program, uphold the obligation and Unami's rules and procedures, uphold the obligation and Unami's rules and procedures, promote camp, promote camp, serve scouting in my home unit, serve scouting in my home unit, and in the Cradle of Liberty Council, and in the Cradle of Liberty Council, I pledge all this, I pledge all of this, on my honor as a scout, on my honor as a scout, and in the Wimachtendien, and in the Wimachtendien. Congratulations, Patrick. Each year at the Lodge Dinner, we ask all of the past chiefs of Unami and Dalmont Lodges who are present to come forward to welcome our new Lodge Chief. This year, this was done in a virtual setting. Thank you to those Lodge Chiefs who appear on the screen for their well wishes and contributions as we welcome our 2021 Lodge Chief, Patrick Lynch. Raise your right hand in the scout sign and say your name after the word I and repeat after me. I, please state your name. I, Will Beardsley. Do hereby promise. Do hereby promise. On my honor as a scout. On my honor as a scout. That I will faithfully fulfill. That I will faithfully fulfill. The duties entrusted to me. The duties entrusted to me. As, please state your office. As Lodge Secretary. Of Unami Lodge 1. Of Unami Lodge 1. I will. I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Live up to the high ideals of our order. Live up to the high ideals of our order. Promote our lodge program. Promote our lodge program. Uphold the obligation and Unami's rules and procedures. Uphold the obligation and Unami's rules and procedures. Promote camp. Promote camp. Serve scouting in my home unit. Serve scouting in my home unit. And in the Cradle of Liberty Council. And in the Cradle of Liberty Council. I pledge all this. I pledge all this. On my honors as a scout. On my honor as a scout. And in the Wimachtendink. And in the Wimachtendink. Congratulations. Hey Matt, did you pay your 2021 dues yet? Nah, I haven't paid them because like I just spent $10 on this mask. I, I, I don't really know what it gets me. Luke Syak, 2020 Lodge Chief, you're my carpenter and the mailman? Sure am. And if you don't pay your dues, you won't be able to attend lodge events or wear your lodge flap or get communications about all the cool things the lodge has to offer. Are you going to pay your dues now? Of course I'm going to pay my dues. Thank you, Luke Syak. You're welcome, young airman. Now, I gotta fix some more cabinets. Alright, American author and motivational speaker, John C. Maxwell, offers the following thought on mentorship. One of the greatest values of mentors is the ability to see ahead where others cannot see and to help them navigate a course to their destination. Tonight, among all the other awards and achievements of 2020, we get to honor someone who has helped UNAMI navigate the course not only during this turbulent year, but who has set a course for the future during each of his five years as Lodge Advisor. Dennis Abernathy's tenure as advisor can be marked by three distinct areas of growth for the Lodge. Youth development, commitment to service, and passionate mentorship. Youth development. From the onset, Dennis's purpose as Lodge Advisor has been to foster a sense of youth pride and ownership in the work that the Lodge accomplishes. Lodge events from LEC meetings to service weekends rapidly saw an increase in youth participation, at times achieving a one-to-one -one youth to adult ratio. Often, it would certainly have been easier to do things himself. Instead, Dennis took the time to guide the youth of the Lodge in making a decision that was uniquely theirs. This has created an overwhelming feeling that, once again, UNAMI is youth run. Commitment to service. UNAMI's history is rooted in providing service to our council and camps, and the last five years have been no exception to this fact. From significant camp improvement projects, such as the installation of fishing piers at Musser, 
and the rehabilitation of the Nunnyville cabins at Resica Falls to smaller initiatives like supporting an increased number of council service days and council events like the Philly encampment and Musser Madness, UNAMI has been there to get the job done. And just as often, Dennis has been there himself, ensuring that the job is done, lending his own time and talents to the task at hand. Passionate mentorship. Dennis came to the role of Lodge Advisor five years ago with an abundance of scouting experience behind him, including service as a loyal scoutmaster, dedicated district volunteer, and an active airman. In each of these areas, he was the consummate mentor to countless youth leaders and fellow scouters alike, myself included. This fervor for guiding others is revisited time and again by Dennis, resulting in an active lodge leadership that is composed of engaged youth leaders and caring adult advisors, even in the midst of a global pandemic. If you ask Dennis any of the successes of the last five years were the results of the efforts of our lodge chiefs, the youth leaders, and his fellow advisors. Even in the prominent role of Lodge Advisor, Dennis has never sought the forefront. He much rather encourage and motivate from the background, giving others the tools they need to be successful. He has trusted youth and adults alike to get the job done. In trusting and inspiring others, he has made the last five years of growth and success a reality. Dennis has seen UNAMI's potential and consistently guided the Lodge in the right direction. That direction is, like the arrow, onward and upward. In doing so, Dennis has truly navigated the Lodge on a course of success for many years to come. Okay, at this time, it is my pleasure to present this plaque to my friend Dennis Abernathy. The inscription reads, Dennis Abernathy, Lodge Advisor, 2016 to 2020, and contains a quote from our pre-ordeal ceremony by Alawat Sakima. Working gladly, not begrudging, seek to serve and thus be faithful to the high ideals and purposes of the Order of the Arrow. Dennis, on behalf of all the youth and adults that you've mentored over the years, thank you for working gladly, seeking to serve, and always being faithful. Thank you, Steve. I'm on the hug right now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 106th dinner celebration of Unami Lodge. What is the Order of the Arrow? Well, if you actually Google it, you're going to get a couple of different responses. It's Scouting's National Honor Society. There's another one. Those that best exemplify the Scout Oath and Law. Those are two very good definitions of the Order of the Arrow. There are scoutmasters out there that would sit there and say, oh, it's those group of guys with the white sashes that take our good leaders away from us. That's not necessarily a true statement. We do train our leaders so that they can best serve you the troops. Some also say it's free labor for the council. That's not too far off because that is what we're here for. We are the service arm of the council, service to our camps. Cheerfulness, brotherhood, service. Now, over the past five years, I've had the honor of being the Lodge Advisor for UNAMI Lodge 1. And over those past five years, I've had the pleasure of guiding five very different youth as the Lodge Chief. All have done an exceptional job in their role. 2020 is no different. That is, of course, if you don't count the fact that we were unable to hold our normal weekends of service and induction. Does that mean we didn't get anything done? 
Not at all. Our current Lodge Chief went out there, got in touch with his officers and his chairman, and said, we have to come up with a different way. Without losing the integrity of the founding lodge, which is what Unami Lodge is. And we did that. We had an eight week window to actually go out there and do service to our camps and duck some of our youth. And we did it. In that eight weeks, we held three service weekends. We held two induction weekends where we inducted 75 new members into our lodge. And we had 21 seal their bonds of brotherhood. So I say, 2020, no different. Numbers are a little lower, but during a pandemic, those numbers mean everything. And I couldn't be any prouder of our advisors, our chairman, that have gone out there and done what they could to make this Unami Lodge the best lodge. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us in tonight's virtual lodge celebration and congratulations to all those brothers who have been recognized this evening. I'm extremely honored to be speaking to all of you tonight. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all the 2020 officers and especially the 2020 Lodge Chief, Luke Sayak. It has been an amazing experience serving with all of you this past year. I'd also like to thank all the chapter chiefs, committee chairs, and advisors for their hard work and dedication towards the Lodge. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us this evening. I joined the Order of the Arrow in the summer of 2016 at Resca Falls Scout Reservation and sealed the bond of brotherhood in 2017 at Muster Scout Reservation. During my time in the Order of the Arrow, I was the General Nash Chapter Chief, Camp Promotions Chair, Brotherhood Chair, and First Vice Chief. I'm also a very active member with our American Indian Affairs Program and the Lodge Ceremonialist Team. Inspiration for my words to you all here tonight comes from the ordeal ceremony. For he who serves his fellows is of all his fellows greatest. We are all here tonight to celebrate the success of the Lodge. We are also here because everyone tonight in attendance all share one thing in common. We believe in brotherhood, cheerfulness, and service. I know this has been a challenging year for everyone. We were faced with numerous challenges this year, including a hit to our membership due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Despite this challenge, we as a lodge were very lucky to have two induction weekends while enforcing CDC guidelines and still giving our airmen a once in a lifetime experience. Come January, we all need to work together with units and districts for elections. It's of the utmost importance that we have engaging, fun events to reactivate our members after a long and challenging year. We have been apart from each other for a long time and we need to come together. Myself and many other youth leaders of the Lodge will not be youth leaders forever. While many of us may still stay involved for the future, there is a need for more young leaders to assume roles of leadership within their chapters and the Lodge. Not only should we be searching for the next generation, but the generation after that, and so on. It's our responsibility to ensure our Lodge thrives for future years to come. I sincerely look forward to being able to serve with each and every single one of you this year. This Lodge has given me so many opportunities, memories, new experiences, and friendships, ones I treasure deeply. Once again, I'd like to thank the upcoming Lodge Executive Committee Chairs, Chapter Leadership, and Advisors who continue to work harder towards our goals. This has been a difficult year, but I know we can all push forward. We were met with an overwhelming challenge, and it was thanks to our capable leadership that we were able to navigate and adapt. I challenge everyone here tonight, youth and adult, 
Bring someone new to an event this year. Give them the opportunity to experience what we have to offer. Give them the opportunity of a lifetime. This year, a committee was put together to refurbish the hard ceremonial grounds. It has been a long time since the grounds have been given an update. One of our many goals for this upcoming year is to update the grounds so that future generations can use them and have the same experience as all of us had when we completed our induction into the Order of the Arrow. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you.